Hi everybody, I'm going to be talking about coastal management in a small town in Costa Rica called Ostional. So Ostional is a pretty important place, especially in Costa Rica. It's a very small town and a very small beach, but it does have a wildlife refuge, which was created back in 1984 with the purpose of protecting sea turtles. So in Costa Rica, there are five species of sea turtles that go to nest, but specifically in Ostional, there are three sea turtles that go to nest, and those are the olive ridley, the leatherback, and the green sea turtle. So once a month, the olive ridleys participate in what they call an arribada, which is an arrival, basically. Um, and that is a mass nesting event. So the olive ridleys come in hundreds to nest on this same beach. So different times of the month, it's really hard to predict when it's going to happen, but once a month, there will be hundreds and hundreds of sea turtles up and down the beach, and it's impossible to see anything but sea turtles. I'm sure we've all heard of keystone species, and one of the keystone species that exists are the sea turtles, and they are very important for the survival of our oceans. So if they were to go extinct, it would disrupt the natural order of the ocean. Leatherbacks specifically consume primarily jellyfish, so because they are capable of diving um, since they are soft shelled. So they help to control the number of jellyfish that are in the oceans. And green sea turtles eat um, seagrass. So they're helping to basically mow our lawns in the ocean, uh, which helps to maintain the health of, again, the ocean. So it's very important that we protect these sea turtles and make sure that they're able to keep things flowing in the ocean. So leatherbacks, as I mentioned, um, do have a soft shell, so they're able to dive deep into the ocean, and that's where they find their jellyfish. Um, but the leatherbacks are also um, the most at risk um, of going extinct as of right now. It's been predicted that they won't be around much longer. I don't think they're even predicting that they'll be around in another five years. So those that are found um, and are still nesting are very important um, because they are obviously providing new hatchlings that could eventually keep living on and keeping their species alive. So in Ostonal, leatherbacks, um, again, are very important. So on the nightly patrols that the refuge employees do, they are always on the lookout for any sea turtle that is nesting um, and they mark what part of the beach that's happening on if they do catch it in the act um, or before she starts. But for leatherback specifically, a refuge employee will gather the eggs. So typically this is done before she starts nesting. Um, she'll dig her, her hole where she's gonna lay her eggs, but the employee will put a plastic bag in her hole right before she starts to lay her eggs. And that way the eggs are all collected. And once she's done laying her eggs, they then take them to the hatchery where they can be in a controlled environment and safe from poachers and safe from vultures and any other critters that would want to consume them. So like the leatherbacks, the green sea turtles are also at a high risk of extinction. They're 
risk isn't as high as the leatherbacks so while it's important to make sure to protect the green sea turtles it's just not at the same level as it is for the leatherbacks but nonetheless um they are also one of the species where if a refuge employee were to see that a, a green sea turtle was about to nest they would also collect her eggs and take them to the hatchery so in Ocional, the hatchery is designated to the leatherbacks and the green sea turtles and again it's about making sure that they're protected in a controlled environment and because um, there is typically a number of days where the sea turtles tend to hatch which i believe is 60 days um, they do closely monitor um, the eggs around that time that they would be hatching to make sure that they're able to get out and when they are getting out they are actually collected um, so that way they can't be tagged because they are too young but they can be weighed and measured and that's what you see me doing here on the left hand side I have a green sea turtle in a plastic cup and um, it's on a scale so gathering the weight of that baby green that had just been born that day and when they do this when they collect the babies the day they're born all of this is done and then at the end of the day the hatchlings are released into the ocean so as you can see on the far left photo they're all together and these are all the hatchlings that were born that day from that same uh, mom so they were all weighed and measured and were about to be released into the ocean with staff present um, just to keep away any dogs that find their way on the beach any vultures and again any other critters that would consume a hatchling so the olive ridleys are different from the leatherbacks and the greens in the sense that they participate in mass nesting, which is called an Aribada event. And this is when hundreds and hundreds are on the beach, all nesting at the same time. And this is a big tourist attraction. It's pretty much the only thing Ocional is really known for it because it's an amazing thing to see. So tourists obviously will want to go. It's hard to predict when an Aribada will happen, but if a tourist is lucky enough to go at the time of one, then they do need to hire a local guide. That's the only way that they're allowed to be there. And if a refuge employee were to see a tourist on the beach as an Aribada is happening, then they would be escorted off the beach and told how they can attain the guide so that they can be there with permission because they are very strict on maintaining the safety of the sea turtles. So Ostiana, like I mentioned, is a very small town with a very small beach. Now with that, while it's very beautiful to see an Aribada happening, where hundreds and hundreds of sea turtles are there to nest, there are some very sad things that happen. Um, so when a be the beach is too full where a mother can't find a spot where she can nest, she will either go back into the ocean or um, she will end up destroying a nest that was already there. And that results in that nest that's being destroyed not providing hatchlings. Now, because of that observation, there is a program, um, or sorry, an organization that has created the egg harvesting program. And the organization is called Avio, and they are responsible for protecting the sea turtles. And they're the only organization allowed to provide certification for these harvesting events. So Ostional is the only place in the world where sea turtle egg harvesting is legal and that's through the audio program. 
Now, to be certified with Adiol, it's not something that is just given away. It's very strict. So in order to be certified, a person has to be from Ostional. It's not just anywhere in Costa Rica. No, they have to be from Ostional. They had to either, either had um, grown up there and consistently lived there um, throughout their lives, or they had to have lived there for, I believe it's at least 10 years, if I remember correctly. Um, but it's for a long time that they would have had to live there in order to be considered. But they also take the consideration of the community members. So if someone that moved to Ostional has been there for the required amount of time, but the community members don't feel that that person can be trusted, then they don't get a certification. So they are very skeptical about who they allow to have the certification. Now with the certification, it allows them to collect the eggs during an arribada, because that is the time where there are all of these olive ridleys on the beach at once. So that's when more space is needed. And once they've collected, they're allowed to sell these eggs. So that photo on the left is a photo of a local restaurant in Ostonal. Um, and you can't really see it in the photo, but that little sign on the right of the surfboard shows that they sell the sea turtle eggs but it also says the audio certification sign. So the only places that you know if you're looking to consume sea turtle eggs, the only way to know that they're legally selling these would be to have that audio certification. Now, if one doesn't have that, you can always ask um, for their certification um, if that's something that you want to be sure about but if they can't provide you with one then you know it was that those eggs weren't obtained legally so the sea turtles can be sold in restaurants and bars um, there is a popular drink in Costa Rica an alcoholic drink um, that uses sea turtle eggs um, so you can always ask about that if you're ever curious but the only place that these eggs have been legally collected from, you'll know that they're coming from Ostionan. And it is very controversial, but if it's looked at through the bigger picture of the fact that many of these eggs would be destroyed, it makes sense that these Ostional locals are allowed to collect them and sell them because it provides them income. This is a very small and poor town. So this sort of ecotourism is going to help them um, in the long run. So as you've seen throughout this presentation, the coastal management of Ostinal is extremely important. By having the wildlife refuge there as an authority figure, and they're helping to ensure that these sea turtle species get to continue bringing new life into the world. So it's very important that they're there, and it's very important that they continue to do their job and patrol at night and provide support during the day. And the help of the community is also extremely important because they're offering their support. They're not resisting this important job that the Wildlife Refuge is doing there um, on the coast. So that concludes my presentation. Thank you.